mean, and medium, and mode. Very good. So, if you remember, what these stood for were, the mean is the average, right, we remember this? The median is the middle score, so you got a whole bunch of scores and you just go right there in the middle. And what's the mode? What's the mode? It's the one you have the most of, okay? Now all three of these, all three of these are all different ways of getting one thing, which is they have a very big fancy name, which is they're all measures, as in ways to measure, central tendency. That's a bit of a fancy way of saying if I have a group of people, right, if I know all their heights or I know all of their ages or all of their uh, income or whatever, right, what's the center of the group like? What do they all tend towards? If I could summarize the whole group in one number, what would that be? Okay, and each of these have their own attractive features about them. Okay, for instance, with the mean, we, gen we generally think of that, like that's a normal way of working out what they're all like. But what's the problem with the mean? The mean has a big problem with it. You want to remember? There's a big problem with, yeah, Nathan. Um, if there's an outlier. Very good, you even got the word, fantastic. If you can't remember, an outlier. An outlier is, um, yeah, Jordan, do you want to? It's something that drags the rest of the group up. Yeah, that's right. It's like, here's a, here's a whole bunch of data, and then you've got a number that's really, really high, or really, really low, literally. It lies outside the rest of the data. Okay. When you have an outlier, the mean will get thrown up or down. Okay. So the median will do a better job at getting that if you have this kind of thing. Okay. Um, the mode, when you might you use the mode? So when might the mode be a useful kind of thing to do? Yeah. Fantastic. So if you're trying to quantify something that's not numerical, like, okay, there's an election coming up, okay? Who's going to be the person elected? Well, you can't take an average between, you know, the Prime Minister and the opposition leader. It's like, oh, what's the average between these two human beings? You can't do that. What you can do is say, well, which one has the most votes, right? The mode, okay? So they each have their measure. Now, there was one other number that we realized was important. It didn't start with M, range. though. Range, very good, right? So, range. Range. Now, range is not a measure of the center of a group, right? What is it a measure of? Yeah. So, you take the biggest number and you take the minus the smallest. Yeah, fantastic. The biggest number, take away the smallest. So, what it really tells you is how spread out a group of numbers are, right? So that's why we call it, in fact, a measure of, not central tendency, but spread. Or dispersion is the fancy way of saying it. How are they dispersed? How are they spread out? Okay. Now, range is the only one we learned, but just as a bit of a teaser, we won't cover it, but I just want to tell you what it is. You might have heard the phrase before. There's another really important technical way of being able to say how something is dispersed because if I give you two sets of data, right, which are, for instance, I've got, um, so he's like 0 to 10, 0 to 10, okay? If I've got a class and they're scoring on a quiz, right, if I have a um, class like this, okay, 1 on 0, 1 on 10, what's the range of this class? It's just the biggest, take away the smallest, so it's just 10. Right? So you're like, okay, that tells me the range, it tells me how spread out. But this class is very, very different from this class. Right? Very, very different classes. Do you agree? Like that you would describe them as different kinds of classes, but they have exactly the same range, right? So we have more technical ways. You'll start learning about them next year and the year after that. In particular, the one you'll learn about is called, in the future, standard deviation. That's a big technical phrase. Deviation literally means like going away from something. How far are you spread out? So these two classes, if you like, would have different standard deviations. This standard deviation would be very small. They're sort of clustered together. Whereas this standard deviation would be very large. Okay, the, the mean is somewhere in here and everyone is very distant. Everyone's dispersed out. Okay. So we have these, right? These are like the, the actual summaries, right? But how do we find them? 